What a day's racing we had ahead of us. Celine Dale Carmen Alvarado 12 months ago was the winner here. A breakthrough performance by the Dutch rider. She took it ahead of Low Sales and Lara Vidonchka on this occasion. It was Anna Marie Quirst that led out from Sarnakant. Yara Castelline up there. Anna Kay and Alvarado on the inside looking to keep that 100% record here in the Brussels University Cross. Two years and uh, two victories. It was a leading group that formed of Alvarado, Quirst and Anna Kay. These riders have battled backwards and forwards throughout uh, this season uh, for Horst and Alvarado. The sp uh, th fight for the third spot on the podium became a battle between the world champion Sano Kant of Belgium from Eco Creelin and Anna Kay of Exposa. A couple of little errors from Alvarado. It's uh, allowed Anna Marie Horst to get a small advantage. But uh, this battle would go right down to the final lap of the race. The triple seven rider kicking on. And again, another uh, time Alvarado nailing that section. Anna Kay and Sano Kant were battling and attacking each other behind for that third spot. As the race went on, the tiny errors by Worst started to creep in. Alvarado attacked. Worst would find her way back on this occasion after Alvarado had gone down in pretty much the same point early on in the race. The final lap, Worst crashed. This gave Alvarado the lead and she would not look back. She is on phenomenal form is the Alperson Fenix rider, the winner of the previous day's race in, in Hulham, goes into Dutch National Championships next week on phenomenal form. Two years and two victories for Celine Del Carmen Alvarado. Annemarie Hurst crossing the line in second place and Sana Kant manages to get the better of Anna Kay for third place. There's your top 10 overall. Alvarado from Quirst, Kant, K, Compton, Backer, Norbert Riberola, Castelline, Lechner and Van Loy. Two minutes and 41. Into the elite men's race, Matthew Van Der Poel, also a winner 12 months ago of the Brussels University Cross. The lights went green, off and racing. Ellie a bit leading in the DVV, Verta getting in trophy overall, 4 minutes and 12 ahead of Matthew Van Der Poel and 5.10 ahead of Michael Van Toren out early on in the race. A select leading group of Van der Poel, Van Turnout, Van Kessel, but not far behind were the likes of Jens Adams, Tim Malier, uh, Yanni Vermeers, Tom Meussen, and Eli Isovic sprinting to try and get into the group. Van der Poel made his move, clipped his pedal on the barriers, and it went down. This allowed the chasing group to come back into the leading group. Van Toren out was having a great day. So was Corny Van Kessel and Elias a bit of Pal Sals and Bingo would also find his way up to the front group. When Van der Poel went, though, the riders in that chasing group behind had no answer. He had them on the ropes and this was his race winning move. Isabit, Van Kessel, Van Turenau and Merlier would then form the battle for the podium places. Van der Poel, very few errors over the course of the final laps of the race. After Van Kessel had got up to the power, Salzen duo Isabit with that familiar last lap charge went clear. Van der Poel rode in to victory. As his winning streak continues, doubles up in this weekend's racing. He takes the victory. Isabit defends the lead in the DVV trophy overall, coming in under 30 seconds down, 29 behind Van der Poel. Another podium for Corny Van Kessel from the Tormans Cyclocross team. Confirmation of your top 10, Matthew Van Der Poel takes it from Elie Isabit, Corny Van Kessel with Van Toren out, Adams, Mayusen, Malia, Vermeersch, Van Der Haar and Bastians, your top 10 overall.